Before learning how to draw pictures of people moving and walking, it's important to learn first the accurate proportions of the human body. And one way that artists do this is to break down the human body into simpler forms. In this case, the human body is broken down into simplified geometric forms. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do today to um, draw accurate human proportions and to simplify the human body into the simplest geometric forms. Start by breaking the human body into its component geometric forms. Start with a head, which would be an egg shape, the neck, which would be a cylinder, the torso, which would be a cone shape, all the joints are spheres, everywhere the body bends, from the hips up to the waist is a cone shape, um, the arms and legs are cylinders, um, actually the hands, if you take an egg shape and slice it diagonally, you'll get the hands. So once you know how to build the human body, you go ahead and start drawing. Make sure that the shoulders are wider than the head. Most people make the shoulders too narrow. So you've got your upside down cone for the torso, followed by the sphere where the waist bends, and from the hips on up is another cone shape. When you do the arms, make sure you make them long enough. Draw side by side the mannequin figure so you can make sure the arms are long enough. Draw all the joints first and then connect them. That's the easy way to make sure that you make the arms and legs long enough. The knees are slightly lower than the tips of the fingers. Uh, make sure you go from the outside of the hip to the outside of the knee, the inside of the hip to the inside of the knee. That way you make sure the thighs are wider than the calves. Um, uh, the legs are just about approximately half your body. Arms are almost actually as long as the legs. Most people don't realize that. Let's review about the arms. Make the circles where the joints are. The elbow is just about at the waist and the uh, wrists are just about at the hips. And then you connect them. Do the same thing with the legs. The knees are slightly lower than the tip of the finger. The best way to practice is side by side this printout of the geometric uh, human figure. When you're finished, overlay a piece of thin drawing paper over your robot form and try drawing a regular person with clothing and a face and hair and details over this robot form, using the robot form as a guide underneath your paper. After you learn geometric drawing, you can go on and learn gesture drawing, which is a great way to depict movement. Um, instead of using the three-dimensional geometric forms, you just use the flat geometric shapes. Um, you still use the same proportions, but you concentrate on the way the body is moving instead of uh, just in the proportion. In order to animate human locomotion, you really need to have the uh, proportions down first, then you can concentrate on the movement.